Exercise just might be the best thing you can do for your brain. When I started reporting the brain health challenge for the New York Times, I spoke with neurologists around the country about their top tips for brain health. Every single one emphasized one thing, exercise. Research linking exercise and brain health goes back decades. And the more we learn, the more impressive the benefits appear to be. It turns out that when you work out, your muscles and other organs release signaling molecules called exerkines into the bloodstream. Some of those exerkines make their way up to the brain where they help to repair damaged neurons and grow new connections between brain cells. Exercise also appears to improve blood flow in the brain. That helps to deliver more good things to brain cells like oxygen, glucose, and those amazing exerkines. And it helps to take away bad things like the protein amyloid, which can become toxic when it builds up and is associated with Alzheimer's disease. Studies show that people who exercise more tend to have less amyloid built up in their brains. Thanks to the improved blood flow, and the new connections between neurons, scientists think that exercise is one of the few things that can actually protect the brain from shrinking. This is especially true in the hippocampus, an area that's important for memory. In older adults, the hippocampus shrinks about 1-2% to a year, but research shows that people who exercise consistently tend to have larger hippocampi than people who are sedentary, essentially offsetting that loss and protecting the brain from aging. And the great news is, it's never too early, and it's also never too late. One recent study found that exercising in midlife, late 40s, 50s, early 60s, was almost as protective against dementia as exercising in late life, late 60s, 70s, and 80s. And it doesn't really matter what type of exercise you do. The most important thing is that you're challenging your muscles and getting your heart rate up.